I've loved being a mentor uh, in this program and I think the thing that I loved about it the most was actually not knowing that I had a lot to offer. Having the opportunity to have a mentor, someone outside your office and outside industry is definitely an advantage instead of disadvantage to your career. As someone um, who's really sort of a citizen of Hong Kong, to be part of something that is as unique, interesting and impactful as this, I genuinely believe there's nothing like this in Hong Kong. Hello, I'm Sue Mae Thompson, and I'm privileged to serve as the CEO of the Women's Foundation. Since I joined the organization in 2009, we've grown tremendously in terms of resources, programs, and visibility within the community. And one of the key drivers for this has been the momentum behind our signature mentoring program, Women Leaders. At the foundation, grooming the next generation of women leaders is a core pillar of what we do and that makes this program absolutely vital to our mission. Despite the fact that women are better educated and more prevalent in the workforce than ever before, women remain significantly underrepresented when it comes to the C-suite and decision-making roles across industry sectors and professions. Basically, Hong Kong is squandering the leadership potential of its women, and the program is designed to spotlight this. During the course of this video, you're going to be hearing from a number of mentors and protégés from diverse cultural backgrounds and professions, and who came to the program with different goals and aspirations for what they wanted to get out of the program. You're going to be hearing from them their own stories and experiences of the program and how it's transformed their lives. I joined the mentoring program of the Women's Foundation because it's really an exceptional program. It's world class in its approach and its design. It's exceptionally well executed and well organized. Uh, and I can honestly say this because much of what I do here at, at Lee and Fong is really to run a talent development uh, strategy uh, for our people globally. It is uh, fantastic, even for myself, uh, this many years into my career, to still meet great women outside of my company and outside of my industry. So it was a great opportunity to network. It was a fantastic opportunity to connect with, uh, with my protege, Rita, and really feel like I was committing to someone else's development. I don't think I was prepared for how wonderfully intimate the relationship was going to be between a mentor and a protege. Um, as an architect, I've been working in the industry for about 15 years, and I'm specialized in healthcare architecture. And it's been very interesting now that I have moved from San Francisco to Hong Kong for the past six and a half years, um, I've gained a lot of experience. However, because working in a different environment from San Francisco to Hong Kong, I find it's really frustrating to maneuver in the office environment, the office culture in Hong Kong. Maybe perhaps I'm just very open-minded and I'm very direct in a sense. In office politics in Hong Kong, it's a different industry, it's a different culture, and the game is played differently. And so when I know about the mentoring program about two years ago, I started off helping out as a volunteer and uh, assist in the steering committee. And after one year participation on that one, I really see the uh, empowerment and how wonderful it is. And so last year, I decided to join the program as a mentee. I definitely think the Women Foundation did a really good job matching up many different people. Um, to be very honest, um, when I met Lolly, I noticed that you know, based on her personality and her credential, a lot of people wanted her to be as a mentor. And so I did not even put her name on my list. And it's Women Foundation that matched me up with her. And as I talked to other mentees as well, you know, a couple mentees also got matched up with their mentor. And the Women Foundation definitely know the mentor and the profile and the personality. It worked out perfectly. Yes, Lolly definitely gave me quite a bit of pointer on different issues I have in Condor, working in Hong Kong. Um, so it's great for someone that's been working in Hong Kong for all these years with different background. Um, how does she approach it throughout all these years? How is she able to work up to different level of her career and able to see, succeed in it. Aside from TWF, we could be just like friends and talk for hours 
and doesn't need to even get over to discuss any of the office issues. So for that on, I realized that we get along really well, not just as a mentor and mentee, but more as a friend in a close relationship. It's not someone that I can count on, my confidant and my advisor. I think that as mentors, and, and certainly for me with Rita, I think sometimes everybody loses objectivity in their, in their circumstances. Um, and you can think you're fantastic when really you should be concerned. Um, or you could be struggling and you could really own that struggle to think it's, it's, it's me, there's something wrong with me, or there's something wrong with my particular company, there's something wrong with my particular situation. So I think that probably the best thing for Rita, for me, if I had to say it that way, would be a certain sense of objectivity, like being able to just listen, to hear what she's saying, and maybe even read between the lines of, of maybe where she wasn't thinking about what her situation was, or blowing it up out of proportion because you're stuck in the middle of it, when you realize that actually, you know what, you have options. There is a different way to tackle the same issue. Sometimes it's your own perspective on, on the issue that has to change. Sometimes the situation has to change. So I think if I had to say what I brought to the table as a mentor and probably what other mentors bring to the table is, is that objectivity. You know, when you, when you care about the person who you're having tea with, to be able to just listen and say, I hear you, and you know what, you're right. Or, I hear you, have you thought about this? I think that's, that's what I would say. I found out about the mentoring program uh, and was a mentor in the 2010 to 2011 cycle uh, through a work colleague of mine. I was working at the time at Goldman Sachs um, and one of my work colleagues was actively involved with the Women's Foundation and mentioned to me that there was this mentoring program which was then kicking off for its second cycle and encouraged me to be part of it. At the time I didn't know too much so you know, went to some information sessions um, TWF during the beginning of the program will host two or three information sessions where you can learn more about the program. So I went to the sessions, I was utterly in awe of all the women in the room and didn't think I even deserved a seat to sit there. Um, learned more about what I could bring as well as learn and decided it would be something really impactful for me to join. Uh, went through a selection process where I was interviewed uh, by members of TWF management, Sumay the CEO herself, um, and then was part of the ice-breaking events, meets and greets with other mentors and potential protégés, and then actually went through a selection process where I was then paired up, and then the program kicked off for us. And like many of my peers who joined the program in previous cycles, we really didn't want to let go, and we have built great relationships, connections, and enduring friendships. And to that end, we actually started an alumni committee last year with the alumni events ranging anything from dinners to guest speakers to fun events. The alumni is a very active part of the mentoring program and I'm sure that in the years to come the successive cycles who graduate from the program will also reap the benefits of being part of this enduring network. It's a shame actually that the program is winding down um, now. Um, I think Hazel and I have become really good friends and I do hope that we, and I'm sure we will stay um, in contact going forward. Um, but it's been a great pleasure to work with Hazel, it's been fun, um, we've had lots of laughs and we've also had some serious times, so definitely, um, definitely been a great experience for me. And it's my pleasure to have many as my mentor. I think um, although the program is winding down, I will definitely keep in touch with uh, Mandy and I think this is only the start. The program is the start of our relationship, our friendship, and so it will last. For anyone who's potentially contemplating being a mentor and applying through the program, they're probably thinking, what do I know? What could I pass on? Do I know enough? Uh, why me? Why not someone else? And, and I have to say, for anyone who's applying, you have a tremendous amount to offer somebody new in their career. Uh, also life experience, work-life balance, what do we all do when we're working mothers? Uh, how do we manage teams? Um, there's a lot that you are, are able to give. What you don't realize when you apply to the program is how much you get out of it personally yourself. Lolly and I, we are coming from different industry, but I wouldn't have met her if I didn't participate in this program. And a lot of times our circle gets to be so small and we're so focused on industry, we lost sight of what's out there as well. 
um, and also for the Women Foundation, for the mentoring program, I believe that we all need a mentor at different stages of our life. doesn't matter if you are senior, you are intermediate level or junior level of your career. For someone who's considering being a participant um, and likely watching this maybe on the TWF website or joining one of the information sessions, look around you, speak to the women who have been part of this program. They are testaments to what makes it so special. They are living, breathing proof of the impact of this program and of its enduring impact as well. There is nothing like this if I even think back to the large multinational corporations where I've worked who have hugely developed programs for diversity efforts or women's empowerment and development. There is nothing which encompasses the spirit, and the power and the breadth as well of this program. And from a corporate perspective as a sponsor ourselves this year, the cost or the price point for this is so small. If you compare this to what other development initiatives might cost within your organization, the impact of this is so vast compared to what you may be spending on it. The list of people who are queuing up actually to volunteer and do more really shows in, in a city where time is short and money talks that this is truly special. There's nothing like it and it will live with you way beyond one cycle. At the Foundation, we believe that things will not change until we get a significant critical mass of women in leadership roles. In addition to providing a meaningful, empowering experience for the program participants, we hope that this program will inspire a broader dialogue about the challenges that women face in achieving their professional goals, and also initiate new partnerships and collaborative initiatives to address the gender gap in leadership. We are really excited about launching the fourth cycle of our program, whether it's as a mentor, a protege, a corporate sponsor, or supporting partner, we welcome you to join us on our journey.